What's going on everybody? We are on a gorgeous little Saturday here. Just had to pick up some hardware for my fairings because the bolts flew out. Thanks a lot, BBK. Anyways, I'm with the Strike Rides and a new a new guy that we met at the Yamaha demo event. I believe his name is Sean. If you watch this and that's not right, I'm sorry. We've been over it multiple times, but I'm not gonna ask you again. I'm pretty sure it's Sean. I'm feeling good about that. Anyways, today we are gonna go over our Moto Talk response to episode 23 on the topic of subscribers. All right, now that we fucking wasted 10 minutes, let's get into it. Subscribers, all right. Um, personally, for my personal channel, subscribers is just a number. It means very little to me. I can't say it means nothing to me because I, I mean, that'd be a lie for me personally. Obviously, I like to see the numbers grow because that means that there's going to be more people potentially viewing my channel. Not every subscriber views your, views your channel. Sometimes people just click it. Um, they might think you're going to subscribe to them back if they get it and their number means more to them than your number means to you. So for that reason, they might, uh, they might subscribe to you and never watch you. But to an extent, is the number relevant? Yeah. Should it be? Is relevant as people make it to be? No, no, not at all. I mean, views and comments are really, are really kind of what drives me if we're gonna do a numbers point of view. If we're looking strictly at numbers, number one number that means something to me is comments because I want people to interact. My whole reason of being in the motor vlogging community is because I just want to interact with as many people as I can. And that number symbolizes people's interaction. So. That is the most important number to me. The second number, if I had to give them rankings, would be the views. Just because that means people are watching it, actually watching the content, taking their time out to see what I have. And then lastly would be, I guess, the, the actual sub count. Now, GoFather brought up the, the notion of people judging or basing decisions solely on the amount of subs somebody might have. I've 100% done it consciously. I would say more frequently than not, I probably do it subconsciously. I used to do it consciously a lot right when I started watching Moto Vlogs. Um, you know, a year or two ago, when I really started kind of watching and seeing what channels were out there. I pretty much solely went for the bigger individuals just because I felt everything they put out was going to be much better or more knowledgeable than somebody with, you know, a tenth of the sub count. So I for sure did that consciously. All right, well, since I've started motor vlogging, I definitely try my best not to even look at the sub count. Obviously, you know where it is. You look at it, it happens. But yeah, I really do my best not to look at the numbers because I don't want something as stupid as how many people will click a button on their computer to really make an impact on if I watch their shit. I do watch a lot of the big name vloggers kind of weaned off a couple of them though um, since I've moto vlogs. I don't know why the sub count number is like the end all be all for if somebody is worth watching or not. Yes, there has to be some type of correlation between your numbers and a little bit of your content. I mean, there has to be something there. I'm not saying it's it, but realistically, if you have a lot of subscribers and people are continuously watching your videos and you have a high view count, that means you're doing something that at least people like. Um, I believe uh, Niche Riding brought that up and he's like, well, they're doing something right. So I watch the big name vloggers because I'd want to learn from them and kind of understand the content they put out because people respond to it well. So from that regard, I totally understand why you would want to, uh, to look at a higher count subscribed moto vlogger. But like I said before, to me, to be honest, I really just care about the comments. The people who are out doing moto talks, you know, sending videos, tagging one of the boards in there and stuff like that. You know, I'm gonna watch their videos because I wanna learn by myself to see if they're good. Would much rather have 10 subs and 50 individuals commenting on that video than 10,000 subs and five people commenting on that video. It is just a number to me. It's unfortunate that people base their decisions on who they watch solely on the sub count. I used to do it 
for sure, so I didn't know, and I just assumed. And now, I've had the ability to watch a ton of people's channels, especially through Moto Talks, that people will tag us in responses and I get to watch them. And there's such good content out there that, you know, are even less than 100 subs, that they just started or they don't try to brand their name anywhere or have social media or anything like that. So to say subs don't matter to me would be a lie. But the sub count doesn't matter to me, if that makes any sense. I want every single person that subbed to me to comment on every single video I have, and I'm gonna comment back to every single one of them. The next part we're gonna talk about is hiding your subscriber count. To be honest, I didn't even give it two seconds of thought until this question came out. Like, I didn't know people were gonna think that that was like a big deal or were for or against it one way or the other. First off, I didn't even know you could hide your subscribers. And then, you know, talked to Goatfather in one of our little chats, and he's like, yeah, I hit mine, blah, 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 blah. And then in the video, obviously this week's topic, he talks about it. First off, I don't know what the big deal is, personally. If somebody wants to hide their subscriber count, I mean, by all means, just hide your subscriber count, you know? I think the, uh, it's hard to say something without like insulting somebody, but I don't mean it in an insulting way. You can have whatever opinion you want. It's okay for people to disagree on stuff, um, which is something that the internet doesn't really know. But it's okay if two people have different opinions on something. So my opinion on this is, I don't care what your number is. To be honest, when I first saw a YouTube channel and there wasn't a subscriber count next to it, I just figured it was broken. I was like, oh, well, that guy's never going to know how many subs he has. Well, it turns out I'm a dumbass and you can just turn it off. But that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point is, I think it's... I think it's just super irrelevant if somebody chooses or doesn't choose to have their sub number up. If it's something that you enjoy watching and seeing it goes up and watching your statistics and everything like that that's awesome keep doing it for me i don't it's not relevant for me i know generally where i'm at because i mean i get an email every time somebody subscribes somebody sends a message somebody does anything i get an email for that so i can kind of gauge how popular my channel is by that number i don't need a definitive number to tell me this is how cool you are in the eyes of the internet yeah, I mean, that's kind of how it can monitor things for me. I could see for those who like to measure themselves up to other people, maybe you started at the same time as somebody and you just kind of want to get a feel for how somebody's growing in relation to you. I can understand how people would want to see your numbers and stuff like that, but I don't think it's relevant to anyone but the individual's channel. So if it's your channel and you choose not to do it, I mean, that's fine. I don't think anybody should get butthurt over it. But I'm really eager to hear opinions on those who think that it's it's stupid and people who do it are stupid and there's no point whatsoever to it. My account right now personally has the subscriber count off. And before we pulled over there, the theory behind that was just to kind of see the difference in uh, sub counts that I get. Um, again, I get emails so I know how much I'm growing. I don't know the numbers exactly, but I can tell, you know, by how many I get a week or something like that. Which isn't a lot, which is why it's easy to keep track of. So, kind of what I mean by to see the differences is... I'm not going to say my name is really well known, because it really isn't. I don't have a lot of subs by any means. Most of you guys who respond to these videos already have more subs than me. I can already tell you that. That being said, I am on the panel of Moto Talks, so... People usually see my name out there in videos um, because people tag us in their videos to watch. So people see my name. If they see my name and they're like, oh, he's only actually got 50 subs? Well, I'm not gonna watch this shit. Whereas when people see my name, they're like, oh, the White Ninja 636, he's in the Moto Talks thing. I'm gonna watch his videos and they don't see a sub count. In their mind, they're like, well, I know this guy and people have talked about him, so I'm gonna give him a watch. So that's kind of my theory behind it. And I wanted to see, you know, what kind of different growth I'd get using that mindset where my name might be familiar to people, 
but they can't judge my contact based on a sub number now. May or may not make sense, I don't know. That's kind of my rationale to why I'm kind of doing this. Now you could do it on the flip side. They might see a no sub number. Some people might think that that refers to them as not having any and a blank is just a zero in their minds. I don't know. Or they might not care at all about it and well, either way, I don't know. What I really want to hear is in the comments, people post up, A, if you've even ever thought of this before the topic came up about people hiding their sub counts. And if you did think about it, what's your opinion on it? Do you care? Does it reflect your view on that individual YouTuber in a positive or negative way? I'm interested in uh, people's thoughts on this because like I mentioned, I, I didn't give it any thought at all up until this, this week's Moto Talk came out. And even now, I just can't, in my head, think of why it'd be a big deal to people. But um, I think for some it is, so. So yeah, without getting too crazy into it, you know, that's my thought process. I mean, as far as YouTube goes, it's up to them what they want to do. But I personally don't think it's a big deal one way or another. Subscribers as a number means very little to me. The amount of people I can interact with is really the most important thing for me in uh, moto vlogging. So those comments below are what I'm looking at, guys. Again, Goatfather is the originator of this topic for this week. If you haven't watched his topic video, please do so. And for anybody who does respond, don't forget, just because you're not on the call out video, it has zero to do with if you're able to respond. Everybody is welcome to respond and encouraged to respond. If you can't make a response video, you know, throw up some comments in our videos or other people's videos that you think are good, and we'll be sure to check them out.